So in the Necronomicon, there's a lot of people's names, names of spirits, and uh, names of various characters, entities, and things in the book that aren't exactly explained. So I'm going to go over my complete list of them. Now, a note, this does not include the list of the 50 names <clears throat> of Marduk because those are kind of already in there. But let's go over the other ones. Necronomicon is coming. So I'm actually going to be reading off of the table that's in my uh, manuscript, and I've kind of hit a bit of a writer's block and kind of really low energy this week while I've been on vacation, just kind of recovering and, uh, for the most part, feeling pretty crappy. But um, So let me just go through this list here. So first off, you have Abdul ben Martu. Uh, he's the priest of Jerusalem, supposedly killed by the Ancient Ones. You have Absu, which is primordial male energy, freshwater deity. You have Adar, um, the god of Saturn. Uh, Storms in Time, the last zone I before the realms of the Igi. If Reese comes up here, it's going to mess my whole video up, but we'll see how that goes. Um, she's still got that cone on her. Uh, let's see. Then you have the Akharu, which is a vampire spirit. Reese, going to move on, will you? Um, you got the Alal, which is the demon of the lungs. You have the Alu, which are hellhounds. Amashilama, which is Ningishida's sister. Oh, by the way, that's from an an addition to the uh, to the Magan text that I put in there, and that's a character that's not technically referenced in the neck itself, but it is kind of important if you look into the uh, into the other tablets and other stories. Um, you have Anna, which is the sky, the Anunnaki, which translates to those who from heavens to earth came, which of course from uh, Zechariah Sitchin. Uh, Anu, it's the god of the heavens. Anshar, the male offspring of Tiamat and Apsu. Uh, the Afkalhu, which is spelled in two different ways. Uh, it's, there are seven positive spirits used to combat the evil seven. Um, the Asaru, which is the god of lust. Then you have Asaluhi, which is an ancient one. No other information I could find. Uh, same thing with Azabua. Um, Azog, Azog, or Azog Thoth, worker of black magic, enchanter from beyond the gate. <clears throat> um, you have Kuthalu, which is a man from the netherworld. It's literally what it translates to. Uh, another world being Gansir. You have Dumuzi, or Tammuz, which is the consort of Easter, uh, the god of fertility. The Enduguga, which is a male spirit, uh, which uh, translates to the song of pure disease. Then you have Enki, or Nudimud, which is the god of subterranean waters, lord of the deep, lord of magic. Enlil, the god of the air. Um, Enkidu, which, huh. Hmm, fix that. Uh, creature of Enki. Character portrayed in the Epic of Gilgamesh, actually, and mentioned in the uh, Magan text, I believe. Uh, Areshkigal, Mistress of the Underworld, Consort to Nergal. Uh, Firic, which is the Bearer of Magic, uh, along with Pyrrhic, but I'll get to that later. Uh, Gelal, which is uh, Incubi, Male Sexual Energy or Domination. Gibil, which is the God of Fire. Gidim, which is, which is Spirits of the Dead that wander, that wander around in the streets. Gigim, which are Demons of the Intestines. Gula, it's... Uh, Evil spirit translates to as a uh, lady who brings the dead back to life. Hubur, which he who fashions all things. Humwawa, knows of the future, hold of the seven virtues, protector of the spirits, protector spirit of the forests, actually. Iaxakak, which is watcher of the gate of Arzir, which is the gate to the outside. Um, Idimu, which is a, a demon from the desert created from improper burials. Uh, kind of an angry spirit that uh, is not at rest. Idpa, which is a demon of the head. The Igigi, which are the Watchers. Uh, Inanna, or Easter, goddess of love and war, seen as a fertility goddess. Ishnagrab, which is uh, a rogue self-defeating commander. Answerer of prayers, can heal and bring vitality and vigor. Uh, helps you with self-discipline. Kia, which is the spirit of the earth. Kingu, uh, Tiamat's war general. Um, also uh, Tiamat's consort. Kishar, it's a fail off the female offspring of Tiamat and Absu, mother of the Elder Gods, uh, along with uh, Anshar, which is the male counterpart to that. Kulaturu, which is a water elemental created by Enki to help um, uh, resurrect Easter. Kug Kurgaru, which is an earth elemental created by Enki, brought the food, which brought the food of life to Easter um, in, the in the Magan text. Kutulu, which is uh, your higher self, your uh, higher consciousness that's, wi that's within you. It also relates to uh, Kundalini energy. Uh, the Kushbi Kuru, which is Namtar's consort. Um, Lalartu, uh, f which is a phantom, a restless female spirit. 
La Lasu, which is a specter, a restless male spirit. La Mashta, a demon of childbirth. Um, Lili, which is a succubi, which is spawned in standing water, uh, kind of associated with um, mosquitoes, bugs, things like that. Um, female, female dominance, female energy. Uh, Lamu, firstborn daughter, daughter of Absu and Tiamat. And then Lumu, the firstborn son of Apsu and Tiamat. Uh, Marduk is the god of Jupiter. Um, Maskim, or Maskim, Hul, um, an evil magician. Namtar, the chief magician of Ereshkigal. Nana, the god of the moon, the zonai of the moon. Nebo, the god of Mercury, the, uh, zo the zonai. Uh, Nergal, the god of Ganzir, but also the zonai Mars, the planet Mars. Uh, Nga, which is the god of death, that's actually a Siberian term um, that is found in the Necronomicon. That's a little confusing there. Ninachakudu, which is the mistress of incantations. Nindinuga, which is the queen of the living and the dead. Uh, she can help those that are sick or near death. Uh, Nindukuga, the female spirit, a uh, song of pure disease again. Ningishida, which is the gatekeeping serpent of the Apsu. Uh, Pazuzu, the ultimate evil, uh, also associated with healing and transformation. Pyrrhic, the bearer of magic, along with Pyrrhic, they're kind of partners. Uh, Rubby Shu, the demons that, haunt, demons that haunt doorways and entrances. Uh, Shamash, or Udu, is the god of the sun. He's a, a big judgment uh, kind of figure. Um, Shaku Guku, which we'll have to uh, go later because I put Si Zastur, or Chastur on this one. Uh, Shara, the son of Easter. Telal, which is the demon of the hands. The Mad Arab which is the unknown author of the book, of course. I, don't, I should have basically skipped that one anyway. Tiamat, or Mumu, is primordial fi female energy, um, the saltwater serpent, and the consort that the Absu mentioned before. Also, the ancient one, uh, the Udugu, which are negative spirits. There's no other info on that. The Ruku, which uh, is a name given to the evil seven, and um, those are the demons of the head, demons of the hands, demons of the, the stomach, all those. Um, Ushumgalum, which is a dragon spawned by Hubur, uh, during the fight before time. Uh, Utukhul, or Utukuhul, um, is a demon of the brow. Kind of, you know, gives you migraines, headaches, things like that. Chastur, which is a night terror demon, murmurs, murders people in their sleep. And my, uh, the one I really want to figure out but I have no information on is uh, Zadak, which is an ancient one, no other information. It's only mentioned once in the uh, Testimony of the Matter of the second part. So those are um, a complete list of, and I poured through the pages like several times just to figure this out, but that's a complete list of all the um, capitalized uh, spirits that are in the book for your quick reference. And actually my mom gave me this idea to create this table because as you're reading the book, you're like, didn't I read that before? Who the hell is that? So um, that's one of the reasons why it is going into, uh, why it is in Lama Dudingir, which um, I really hit a writer's block on how to digest this and turn it into a, a companion book because to me it's a work of art. It's perfect, but I don't know how, really how to break it down pretty much. So um, I'm going to keep pouring over that in the uh, next couple of days of vacation that I have left because it's really been racking my brain. And um, we'll see where we can go from here. I'm happy that I was I was able to take a couple of minutes to make a video. I'm going to see if I can pump out any more of them today and probably have them uh, upload in a, in a sequence over the next... Uh, you know, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, things like that. So um, let me know what you guys think about this list. Let me know if there's any errors or if I missed any, because if I have to add any to the uh, to the book, that would be fantastic. So um, just let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this helped, and good hunting.